Africa. A judge has ordered the father of supermodels Bella and Gigi Hadid, Mohammed Hadid, to pull down his half built $100 million bell, uh, mega mansion. Mm -hmm. Mohammed Hadid has been involved in a long legal battle over the residence after neighbors complained about its size. Several neighbors sued him, claiming they lived in constant fear of the hillside collapsing and that their privacy and serenity was invaded by the illegal and unsightly unstructured structured, um, looming above them. The judge decided it was a clear and present danger to other properties in the area. The ruling came after a structural engineer said supporting piles were not driven far enough into the ground underneath the hillside property the judge said and i quote if this house came down um, the hill the, came down the hill it would take a portion of the neighborhood with ease end of words so, this is a very sad story. I mean, yeah, it's a big loss for And him. it's been ongoing for a while. Mm. Um, and I'm wondering... He's always been very optimistic about it, saying... Uh, I think there was a time he was quoted to saying that before this beauty will come down, down, then Bel Air has to go down. Mm. Like... He was also saying that so many engineers and government, people from government bodies have come so um, to expect it, and they didn't see a problem with it, so... I don't know how this ended... How we ended up here. Yeah, yeah he has but always this said this is like him. a winch... Which on which hunt, yeah. Man. I feel so sad for him because he's losing a lot of money. Yes, he is. Wow. Yes, he is. You see, I think it's I want to I I take to the side of Mohammed Adid in this story. I think there's, there's practically a winch hunt for mm. some political reasons going on on him. This is the United States, for Christ's sake, we're talking about. And this mm -hmm. is Bel Air, one of the most, I mean, posh places to live in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. There are structural engineers, there are building engineers, all kinds of engineers that will have been involved in this building. Mm. And they will have tested... Over you know, the years. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the point. That's what I said. They will have tested, they will have done their, their tests, they will have done everything they will mm. to do structurally to say, you know what, this building poses no Because there was also an architectural design that needed approval you know, and things like that. That so. this poses no danger to anybody. Mm -hmm. So maybe at the end of the day, the truth about what really the situation, the issue is, will have to come to fall. But for now, this is the United States, for Christ's mm. sake. They can tell. They can tell if this building is going to come down anytime soon. It is not Nigeria. Mm. You know? But do you think he's going to contest this in court? Though? Of course, yes, he will. Are you sure? Even to demolish the house is going to take thousands six of six months. And then yes, and it's going to spend serious money million, to demolish. Did you just say thousands? <laughs> <laughs> Millions. So I feel this case is ongoing. I don't think it's ended because, like you said, it's definitely so. going to contest it, and that building is still going to be there. So, it's... I feel like it's just unfair. If after all these years you're just realizing now that the building is um, poses threat to the community, mm -hmm. it's just very wrong. Other people have come to inspect this, and you know that this man has spent so much money. Mm -hmm. on this project and you're doing this like you said something is fishy somewhere yeah well neighbors are complaining neighbors are scared for their life that right. it poses imminent danger so they just need to a lot will be involved it's going to take more than just a court ruling and all that to bring that that mansion down mm -hmm. it's going it's going to go on for a long time i don't see it ending in this case ending anytime soon mm -hmm. you know and so that house that mansion is not coming down anytime soon either maybe well like you said before that building will go down <laughs> the whole of Bella, just maybe well, literally i also i, I I hope that we will get to this point in this part of the world mm. where we take our, our structural designs and the things we build in certain places seriously. Because when I read this, I couldn't help but think about us here, how you see churches where they're not supposed to be, you see schools where they're not supposed to be, you see a building, and you know, just... Where thank you, yeah, in thank West, you. In you know, so I, I hope and I hope that our real estate laws will get better and properly implemented because mm. I don't want to even believe that they are not there. I feel like we still have some of them, but because we have our ways of cutting corners, once you can shut the right people up, mm. you build what you want to build until there's a government that wakes up to say, oh, you're no longer part of us and want to bring down your business. You know, So I hope that we can take our environment seriously, the way a neighbor can wake up and say, so there's a church here, I think that church should be closed, closed down, it shouldn't be here. And Things I get think that's happening in Lagos already. I was just going to say that, like, yeah. some days ago, yesterday, some days ago, some, some churches' marks were, were shut, shut down. down. Mm -hmm. And I think more of that needs to be done because uh, yeah. you come into a residential zone and there's just this church and mark somewhere. 
I'm in one noise building. pollution, mm -hmm. disturbing the peace and tranquility of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It is not just right. Like you rightly said, right. some people didn't do due diligence. And just because you can cut shutters and shut some people's some mouths up and, and exchange and exchange money, mm -hmm. you allow those things to be in those in those environments. I'm trying to recall the last incident that happened sometime. Was it early this year? Mm -hmm. A school that was cited where there was, it wasn't meant to be their students. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, year. This, this year. This year. Yeah. This year. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you could see the disaster that was. Parents, mm -hmm. I mean, parents. Officials were saying they didn't even know the school existed until the building collapsed. Mm. Somebody didn't do their jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And well, somebody got we, paid. we as people also should try to hold ourselves responsible or accountable because I mean these are well I think if the laws are better people will start holding each other accountable I mean if you know that if you do this the thing, building he's talking in particular people were living I think below and above, above and they knew there was a school there did they report to the right authorities what did they do or we just said I beg is our business even if there's own. no school there is the building strong enough to be cited there, or is it okay for that building to be there if students didn't die? Other people will probably die. What is wrong is just wrong. It does mm. not matter if it's a school or a church or whatever. People need to do more, like you said. It's not everything is not about the government. If you know what is right, do what is right. Well, sometimes it's about the government because if you know, you have to pursue it somewhere. Mm. So when you get to that point of pursuing and nobody's taking you serious, what do you do? You go back to your bed and think of your life. Mm.